Everybody, good morning. Here we are at last, September the 1st. And today is the first day that John Summers does not have a responsibility to the Halley Orchestra. Mandy and I have been staying a few days down in Wales in the wonderful old farmhouse where he and Hilary live. And we're just about to set off for London again. And I just wanted to try and, on behalf of you all, express to him how much we owe him and how much we will miss him. We've been through some really difficult times in the Halle since the, the first day that John and I met. And he steered us all through that. And we've come out the other side until this year. And as he said himself, it's so strange that he has ended his incredible, incredibly productive, loyal, committed relationship with the Halle with another really difficult period. I'm going to miss him enormously as a colleague, as an artistic supporter, and of course as a friend. We didn't know each other before we were both suggested for this post, but we have become very close and we have shared so many different things. Not least I have to say his cooking, which is really remarkable. He's done many a supper for me and we've lived in the same block of flats, an old mill, in South Manchester for so many years together. He, of course, on the second floor, I on the top floor, as you would expect. Um, we have been close, but also hard working, which means n not always agreeing. We've had some great disagreements about the way the orchestra should go, which conductor was great, which wasn't, soloists, all this sort of thing. But that's part and parcel of what it is to run an artistic organisation like this. And the Halley is such an important organisation in the country's musical life. And we're all, of course, dying to show that once again, as soon as we possibly can. John has done a wonderful job, first of all, steering us through this period with all its financial worries. But of course, as well, we owe him the achievement of St Peter's in Ancoats, which is now there in all its glory and offers such a great facility not just for the orchestra, but for all the institutions, the smaller ensembles, the choirs, and indeed the public, to enjoy a little more closely what we do. We've both shared a very lively sense of humour. We've laughed together such a lot. And that's such an important part of a close relationship. If you can't laugh together, it's very difficult to be serious together, in my view. So I'm going to miss him a great deal. And I know that so many of you are as well. He has been a great leader, always saying that nobody wants to hear from him, always trying to put himself towards the back. But of course, wherever he did have to take the stage, speak to the audience, speak to the orchestra, the press, the politicians, whoever. He did it with enormous flair and ability and thoughtful judgment. Let's hope that in the months to come, David Butcher, his wonderful successor, will find his feet in his own way and take on this great organisation for another period of time into our great future. Very best wishes to everybody and I look forward to seeing you all soon.